Today I will show you how I compared Prismacolor and Arteza Expert colour pencils with this drawing of Tom Hiddleston in the role of Loki. I will give you my thoughts on both brands and give you details of a free resource that you can use with both brands of pencils. So before we get started I want to make you aware of some free resources and other useful things that are in the description below so please make sure you check that out after the clip. Obviously all of the resources I have used in today's clip will be listed in the description below and if you click on those links it will take you directly to those resources. And that is the pencils, the blenders, the paper, everything like that is in the description below. I have um, for you a free resource that you can access and if you click on the link below I have a resource that is a free colour chart and that is for the Arteza and the Prismacolor 72 set so if you click in the description below you will find that. Um, I have also details of the unboxing clips that I did, one for the Arteza and one for the Prismacolor so if you want more details on the actual boxing, the uh, more um, basic testing of the, both the brands with regards to blending and using a white pencil and how it works with an eraser all of those basic testing methods for both the pencils then please check those clips out and finally if you are interested in buying any of my artwork prints stickers etc then also check out a link in the description below so now getting into the comparison of these two pencils they are both very similar in that they are wax based and that's why I decided to use these for a comparison in this clip. I decided also to use both 72 sets. The Prismacolor comes in 150 and the Arteza comes in 120 but I thought it would be useful to compare the 72 because obviously they are the same amount of pencils. In the UK the Arteza comes in at 28 and this is the Arteza half of the portrait and what I found really good about this pencil, I've used Prismacolor a lot and I have I've only used Arteza for the unboxing video and for this portrait, so I'm fairly new to using this pencil, is I was really impressed with how long I could use the pencil without having to sharpen it. With Prismacolor, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm continually having to sharpen it because I have found a way of using it without it breaking that much which I'll talk to you about in a moment. If those of you that have read about Prismacolors and are still trying to make your choice you'll probably have read a lot about Prismacolors breaking but I will share with you a way that you can avoid that in a moment. I really enjoyed working with the pencils, I found that they were nice to hold. One thing that I really liked about the pencils is that they're really clearly labelled so if you're looking for a particular colour they're easy to identify because the sides of the pencils have their names written really clearly on the side. I found one downfall with them was that they didn't blend as well with the, as the Prismacolors. When you are blending with the Prismacolors it, you don't have to put a great deal of effort in. They blend really well it's almost like using butter they, they've got that really soft creamy texture to them whereas with the Arteza's you had to put a little bit more effort in now I did use the pencil blender that you've just seen me use there with the pencil extender that's a Derwent pencil blender and I did have to use I did use it with both pencils actually because I wanted to get a smooth effect especially on the skin tones but I certainly had to use it with the Arteza but it's fine I did manage to achieve a smooth effect by using the Derwent pencil blender as I mentioned it sharpened to a really fine point which I do like to use and I used the Derwent manual helical sharpener for that so I managed to get a really good sharp point and it stayed sharp for a long period of time. I didn't feel limited by the range of colours and I was really impressed when you think I only had to I paid £28 and I got a really good range of colours especially for the skin tones you can see there's a really good range of skin tones there so that was really pleasing. The only thing that I would say is disappointing is I have tried to contact Arteza regarding the light fastness and this is the one thing that I'm still concerned about with regards to the Arteza's because I am really pleased with the results from this drawing comparison but I'm still not sure about the light fastness because 
that is something that I would need to have clarified if I was going to use this in a piece of work that I was going to sell to a client. So we will talk more about this in the conclusion, but at the moment, so far with regards to the drawing side of it and working with the pencils, I'm pretty much really impressed, really impressed with lots of aspects that I'm able to get a lot of detail, yet able to blend fairly well. So there's a good mix of positives with this pencil so far, so very impressed. As I mentioned before, I used only the 72 set of Prismacolors just to ensure fairness to both the brands. As I said, I have the 150 set, but I just wanted to make sure that I was being fair to both the brands with regards to the amount of colors that I was using. And to ensure that I was using just the 72 colors, what I did was I used the Color Pencil Picker app and I set it to 72 for the Prismacolor. Now, because of this, the colours that it's selected, they do appear a bit yellow in comparison to the Arteza. However, I think what it was doing was compensating for the yellow light that is in the background of the photograph. So I'm going to reserve judgment here, um, but there are positives of how the Prisma colours were used in this image. And I think what we need to do is just focus on what we have in front of us rather than thinking, oh, that side's too yellow. Um, and I do think that the colours that were selected were quite bold. And I think if it was the whole portrait itself, it would look much stronger. I think just because it's in comparison to the other one that looks um, like a more realistic image, then the colours do look a bit yellow. However, if you do look at the colours in the lighting in the background that would influence the skin tone. So let's get on to the Prismacolor benefits and um, negatives. So they have a softer core. In comparison to the Artezas, they felt very thin. I wouldn't say cheap but I found the Artezas much easier to handle and they felt very similar to Faber-Castells when I was holding them in my hand but that's just a kind of Manage, manageable thing it's not anything to do with the quality of the drawing they blended much easier than the Arteza's and in many places I didn't have to use the Derwent pencil blender they just went straight on like butter so it was fairly easy to use them so that wasn't an issue and the colors are much more vibrant than the Arteza's they jump off the page so that is one more thing to mention with the Prisma colors now, I did mention earlier about the pencils and a way that you can ensure that they don't break. You will, if you've done a bit of research into Prisma colors and you haven't used them before, you will maybe see reviews, people saying that they've got fake Prisma colors or that their Prisma colors are broken. And again, I've done a review of um, Faber Castell, Prisma Colors, and Karen Dash recently, where I've gone into depth about Prisma Colors and the fact that the factory has now gone to Mexico and the quality has changed, which it has. But um, if you sharpen them properly, and that means don't give them a long lead, give them a short lead, they are much easier to use. So I use a special sharpener called a Kutsawa T gel sharpener and the link is in the description below and that means I can give it a short point which means the pressure isn't being put on it and that means it doesn't break as easily so that's one major tip if you have prism colors already or you're thinking about buying them because what the mistake a lot of people make is they make this big sharp point and then they break in half this is a very soft core pencil so if you do that it will break and I would really suggest that if you're buying Prisma colours, please do buy that pencil as well or another sim similar pencil sharpener because if you don't, you will be wasting a lot of money with broken leads. Um, and that, that's that. You just won't, you, you'll, be spent, you'll be wasting your money because the leads will continually break. Um, and 
that's that. So I, I, I knew what to expect with the Prisma colours. I knew that the colours were going to be vibrant. I've been using Prisma colours for a long time. Um, and um, I, I felt more comfortable with them, but there were no surprises here. Whereas with the Arteza side, uh, there were surprises. So I felt comfortable with them. The only thing I didn't feel comfortable with was the fact that my go-to colours I couldn't use. So that's the only thing. That's why I had to completely trust the judgment of the pencil picker because I'm used to having more colours. So that's why I felt it was easier to use that. Um, so I will give you my conclusions at the end. So now for my final thoughts. At first glance, the Arteza side does look better, but I feel that the pencil picker may be overcompensated with the yellow tones as the right-hand side of the face is darker. I also enjoyed working with the Arteza pencils far more than I expected. I have been using Prismacolor for quite a while now, so know how they behave, but with the price point of the Arteza pencils, they performed really well, especially the fact that I could use them for quite a long period of time without sharpening. Prismacolor is however still more vibrant and both of these pencils are both fine for student work but there are still light fastness issues that I mentioned earlier and that is why they are a great student grade pencil for sketchbook work but not so good for producing work if you are making work to sell as a professional artist as the light fastness rating is vague. If you would like to watch the full Arteza unboxing click on the clip at the top. If you would like to learn more about Prismacolors, including the full unboxing, why not watch the playlist below? And don't forget to check all those resources in the description below. See you on the next one.